Sparkles? <laughs> no, 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 no. I cannot go out the road with a sparkly bag. You've got to be kidding me. People are gonna think I'm really, really gay if they see me with this, so I think I would rather not walk out the road with something like this. Because, you know, I am not gay, so therefore, I will put this away. Anyways, so, this time it says just thank you, not the name of the person who packed this. Okay, well, alright. Dinner on your doorstep. If you don't know me right now, I'm not going to actually take this card to use it for the discount. I'm probably going to take it to pry through electronics, like how I've demonstrated in past videos, so... Yeah, don't actually count on me using this, what is intended. Wait, hold on a second, $90 off? Man, you should actually, hold on, hold on. Maybe I should open you, actually, at any time. <laughs> for real though, can you imagine if I actually took this and opened a girl on camera with it? It's like, oh my goodness. I'd be banned off the YouTube in no time. Okay, so three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, and no bull scat. Huh, got to give them credit for that. Hey, that rhymes. No bull scat, got to give them credit for that. Natural flavors, what are those natural flavors? I hate it when they have natural flavors and they don't tell you what the hell it is. Like, ew. Could you be squid buzz for all I can? Like, people, please specify the natural flavors. Otherwise, I think we just got to beat this to the wildlife. By the way, I do not actually recommend doing that, so please don't take that too seriously. I mean, whether I actually end up doing that or not, just take it as a joke maybe, I don't know. Just something not to take too seriously, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> Should I actually just take this box off the table and just rest everything onto it? Yeah, let's do that. Take this off, and I'll show you everything afterwards. Ooh, look at this stylish marble. So sexy! <laughs> Vegetable Chris. Actually, no, you know what? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Before I do that, we need to exercise some hygiene, guys. I do not know how sterile this desk is, so I'm going to sanitize it on camera. Yeah. Some people might say at this point, oh my gosh, edit this out, edit this out, edit this out. And to those people, I say, shut up. Just stop watching, have a laugh, lighten up. But yeah, I, I didn't like that there were some orange stains on this. I know I should have done this off camera, but whatever. Okay, I could just play directly like this. I may even spring the paper towel. Alright. So. Yeah, you can either dislike, stop watching, whatever. It's still not going to make me edit this part of the video out because I don't feel like doing that. I just don't. Sometimes you just have to keep it super real. Look at that. Do you see how it's shining? It looks like it's shining even better now. Wow. Okay. So now that's done. Um, I have to make you careful not to touch some black wood as close to it because that will actually discolor the black wood. And now, we wait about 30 seconds to make sure that it properly sanitizes it because you can't just throw a sanitizer onto a surface and call it a day. That's not how it works. You need to give the sanitizer some time for it to kill the nasty, invisible things. And if you did not know, like, no, no, right, no, serious talk. Now, if you were honestly a person that thought that, okay, as soon as I disinspect my hands, boom, the germs just gone like that, then yikes! You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're so wrong, you're a ding-dong. <laughs> So, if you are still here, and you did not just tune out as soon as I said I was going to sanitize the desk on camera, then kudos to you. You're a champion. 
So here we have these Smart Bite crisp breads. This one's in the veggie garden flavor. Organic, non-GMO. I think I even saw someone that said kosher. Yeah. That, that K and those Hebrew characters. Yeah. Throw these papers aside. Told you about this card, what I'm going to do with it. For the first time, I bought something that's completely different, and that's calamine lotion. Honestly, I'm not 100% certain how you pronounce this, but they say that you can use it for a temporary relief of skin irritations and itching caused by insect bites, sunburn, and poison ivy, sumac, and poison oak. Not that I've had those affect me, but hey, some of those things are still good to have. And of course, my ancient green pasta. Not only do we have spells in this one, but this time I actually got Komoot. Yes, the Komoot is very, very expensive, but you know what? I really, really just like the way Komoot tastes. It just tastes so awesome. Don't worry, I'm going to talk about the products more in detail soon, if that's what you wanted. Or if you wanted me to just leave them on the desk and you stare at them and I end the video from there. Actually, no, you know, if that's what you were seriously hoping for, then please get off of this channel because it's not going to go like that. You know I'm going to chat about them some more. Okay, so it looks like there's not enough space to have everything in this frame. Is it just me or is, it, or is this not exactly looking like 4K? Okay, never mind, yeah, it's looking like 4K. Okay. Uh, should I focus the camera somewhere? I don't even know. So, there we have it. Now, it's time to talk. I already went over the smart bread and why it's great. Because it uses real vegetables, it's gluten free, fat free, sugar free, kosher, and all that good stuff. I talked about the calamine, calamine lotion. This is really good, it's really refreshing if you want to shave. No animal testing, free from parabenzin, phthalates. Free from synthetic preservatives and fragrances. Okay, I think I said that very <laughs> preservatives. Preserve it. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm not even bother trying to pronounce that again. But anyways, I love the cooling sensation that it leaves. I love the fact that it's just so high quality. Is it very expensive? Yes, it is. But you know what? It's just simply good. And oh yeah, look at that. Made in Germany. Deutschland, if I pronounce their German name correctly. Komoot spaghetti. It tastes great. Very high in fiber, 100% whole grain. You can read that recipe there. How to cook it. Nutritional information there. Uh, how much protein does this have? 13, yes. That's what's really cool about these ancient grains. They're so rich in protein and fibers and 35% iron. Would you look at that? Wow, wow, wow. Spelt. For those of you that regularly go to the Real Canadian Superstore, you'll be familiar with this because you see this on the shelf. Unless you're not into pasta and ancient greens, and maybe you just probably pass it and treat it like it's something very casual. But if you have been treating this thing as just something very casual that you shouldn't care about, then you might want to stop doing it and actually get rid of it. Of, of course, unless you are actually sensitive to wheat, like you're a celiac or something, then by all means you have a right to ignore it because you shouldn't be eating wheat lest you end up in the emergency room and you don't want to be there. Alright, the Kizu juice. Why do I like this? Because this particular flavor does not have weird things. And uh, it is organic. And it tastes nice. I need not say more. Well, Canada.